Hey guys, Beautiful 100 here. And okay, now here's my review of the 1996 Royal match. So yeah, I apologize for this coming just a few days. This is coming a few days since my last Royal Rumble review, but yeah, if you saw my video I made last night, like, about Mae Young's death, as you may have heard why, but in case you haven't seen it, that yeah, just my spring semester and for school started started this past Monday, so yeah, I've just been a little bit busy, like, filling out some papers, like, syllabus acknowledgments and stuff, stuff, so, yeah, that's just the reason why it's taken a few days for me to make my next Royal Rumble review, right? but anyway, okay, so the 1996 Royal Rumble match, um, I thought overall this was a pretty good Royal Rumble, yeah, I mean, I mean, it was a lengthy Royal Rumble, and yeah, it had some, it had some big people in it, yeah, big stars, I should say, yeah. Yeah, but overall, there's not, if you really look at it, there's not really not much memorable stuff that happened in this Royal Rumble, yeah. Probably the best thing it's going for is Shawn Michaels winning it for the second year in a row. Yeah, so yeah. Overall, it's not really too memorable for anything that happened in the match, but I thought overall it was still a pretty enjoyable Royal Rumble. Well, I give this Royal Rumble about, hmm, three stars out of five? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, let me just start in with it. Alright, so it started out with Triple H, Hunter Hearst Home Bleed, number one, and Henry Godwin as number two. Yeah. Yeah. It took until the ninth entrant entered for there to finally be an, an elimination, yeah. So, yeah. It did fill up quite a bit, yeah. There wasn't any early eliminations, so, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, anyway, yeah. It started with Triple H and Henry Godwin. Then Bob Backlund came in. And, yeah, all three of them went out. There wasn't any alliance made. Then Jerry the King Waller then came in. Then that's when Triple H, Bob Backlund, and Jerry Lawler were all trying to triple team Henry Godwin. Now at one point, Triple H and Bob Backlund were holding Henry Godwin's arms. And then Jerry Lawler grabbed Henry Godwin's bucket of slop, whatever. And he tried to pour it on to Henry Godwin, but Henry Godwin fought out of the predicament. Then he got the bucket of slop, and as Triple H, Bob Backlund, and Jerry Lawler were all on the outside of the ring. And Henry Godwin then threw the bucket of slop. But hardly any of the slop got on any of the three of them. And yeah, they were acting like it really did hit them, yeah. And then, yeah, Bob Holly then came out, and then King Mabel came out. Yeah, and then they started going at it. And then when Jake Snake Roberts came out, he just just let out his snake right away, and then, like, everyone bailed out of the ring. And, but Jake, the snake, got a hold of Jerry Lawler, and then he put the snake on Jerry the King Lawler, yeah, and then Jerry Lawler just, like, rolled out of the ring. And then, for, like, a majority of this match, he was actually hiding under the ring, kind of similar to what Hornswoggle did in 2008. Yeah. And Jerry Lawler was just hiding under the ring for yeah, the next while, for quite a while in the front, yeah. Then, yeah, more people came in. Dory Funk Jr., then Yokozuna came in, and then, yeah, he eliminated Bob Backlund. And then, Jake the Snake Roberts eliminated Henry Godwin. Then, King Mabel was then eliminated by Yokozuna. And then, the 1 2 3 kid entered. Then Razor Ramon tried to go after him because earlier in the night, I picked up. The one, two, three could cost Razor Ramon the Intercontinental Championship. So yeah, Razor Ramon was trying to get some revenge on the one, two, three kid, but he he couldn't get to him. Yeah, the official fight stopped him from getting to the one, two, three kid. And then. uh Taco Amari came in, 
Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Yeah. And then Savio Vega entered. Yeah, and then eventually Triple H and Jake Snake Roberts eliminated Omari. Yeah. And then Big Van Vader came in, which I think this was his WWF debut. Yeah. Yeah. Then, yeah, he was, yeah, he was getting into it with Yokozuna a lot in the match, yeah. And, yeah, Savio Vega eliminated Dory Funk Jr., yeah. And, yeah, Jake Roberts then got eliminated by Vader. Vader, yeah. And, yeah, like I said, had Yokozuna and Vader were getting into it a lot in the match, yeah. Then Doug Gilbert came out. Out and then yeah, Vader then got rid of him. Yeah. And then the two, the two members of the squat team came out. And then yeah, when the first one came out, Vader eliminated him before the next one could enter. And then when the next one came out, they both got in the ring together. And yeah, Vader and Yokozuna took them both out. Yeah. yeah. Then, Owen Hart, or enter the match, yeah, then Vader eliminates Savio Vega. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, then the next entrant was Shawn Michaels. Yeah, this was Shawn Michaels' return to in-ring action since, since he passed out on that episode of Raw in November of 1995. Yeah, so he was gone for a couple months before this. Yeah. And then he eliminated both Vader and Yokozuna at the same time as they were going at it with each other. Yeah, and then yeah, Vader wasn't pleased with that. Yeah, and then he came back into the ring. And then he threw Shawn Michaels over or the top rope, but yeah, it didn't count as an elimination. Yeah, and Vader was beating up everyone. He was throwing everyone out of the ring, yeah. And then Tatanka then came out. Now, and yeah, Vader was still all irate, and then Gorilla Monsoon and other officials came out to get him out of there. Yeah, and Gorilla Monsoon got into Vader's face, and then yeah, the next time on Raw, it happened again, and Vader attacked Gorilla Monsoon, yeah. Yeah, but anyway, getting back to the match, yeah. Then, yeah, as I said, Tatanka was the next entrant in. And, yeah. And, yeah, the one two three kid then got eliminated by Shawn Michaels. And then, Aldo Montoya was the next entrant, yeah. Then, Hakushi was eliminated by Owen Hart, and then Tatanka eliminated Aldo Montoya. Then Diesel entered, entered the match, yeah, and then, yeah. Shawn Michaels then finally got Jerry the King Lawler out from underneath the ring. He went under the ring and pulled him out from under the ring, and then he threw him back into the ring and then eliminated him. Yeah. And then Tatanka eventually got eliminated by Diesel. Then the next entrant was Kama, the Supreme Fighting Machine, as he was known at the time. Yeah. And yeah. Then the next entrant was the Ringmaster Steve Austin, who was the million dollar champion at the time. Yeah, and then, yeah, and, uh, he eliminated Bob Holly after almost 40 minutes, yeah. Then Diesel finally got rid of Triple H, who was still in the match, for 48 minutes. Yeah, number one entrant last over 40 minutes, yeah, that was longer than Shawn Michaels' time in 1995. Yeah. Yeah, and then Barry Horowitz came in, yeah. And then, yeah, he got eliminated by Owen Hart. And then, Owen Hart was then eliminated by both Shawn Michaels and Diesel. Yeah, and then, later, a little bit later on, Owen Hart came back. 
and attack Shawn Michaels. Michaels, yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, last few entrants on it, Isaac Yankum, a.k.a. Kane. Yeah. And Marty Jannetty came in. Amen, and yeah, obviously, Marty Jannetty went after Shawn Michaels. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then the British Bulldog came out, and then, yeah, Duke the Dumpster Drozzy was number 30. Yeah. And then it just seemed, after everyone entered, they just seemed to eliminate, everyone just seemed to get eliminated really quickly. Now that's just how it seemed, yeah. Then when it came down to the final four of Shawn Michaels, Diesel, the British Bulldog, again, comma, yeah, it was like, yeah, the British Bulldog tried to eliminate Shawn Michaels, but Shawn Michaels was a stayed on the apron, and then he slid under the ropes under Bulldog's legs, and then eliminated the British Bulldog, yeah. Then Diesel eliminated Kama, and then, like, right after that, Shawn Michaels gave Diesel the sweet chin music and eliminated him. And Shawn Michaels wins the Royal Rumble for the second year in a row. So, yeah, like I said, it was a pretty good Royal Rumble, but just, like, not really too much memorable about it. So yeah, three stars out of five. Alright, so that's my review of the 1996 Royal Rumble match. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.